a silent revolution in military technology is rising. On training grounds filled with steel and dust, where the sound of engines replaces the footsteps of humans, China is testing a new generation of soldiers. Robot dogs equipped with rifles, cold, precise, and tireless. What once existed only in science fiction has now become reality. Four-legged machines capable of hitting targets, crossing any terrain, and operating for hours under extreme conditions. Beneath their steel shells and sophisticated sensors lies a strategy that is redefining the concept of the modern soldier. But is this merely a show of technological power or the beginning of an unmanned war where machines gradually take the place of humans on the battlefield? Join us as we uncover the secrets behind China's army of robot dogs. Alongside the growing debates over ethics and the dangers of modern warfare technology, the world's major powers are still racing forward without pause. From China to the United States, robots have stepped out of laboratories to become part of real combat strategies, where advanced technology no longer just supports soldiers, but begins to take an active role in the battlefield. On training grounds and at defense exhibitions, countless combat robot prototypes are being unveiled. From platforms that automate high-risk missions to armed machines capable of moving, scouting, and firing with chilling precision, Test footage reveals how these machines are steadily evolving into steel soldiers, shaping a new form of warfare where the line between human and machine grows increasingly blurred. Yet, this rapid progress brings serious legal and regulatory challenges. Combat robots may deliver undeniable tactical advantages, but they also spark deep concerns about the future of global security as humanity faces the reality of coexisting with the very machines it built for war. Leading China's new generation of combat robots is the Unitry B2, a robotic dog that's breaking records in both technology and performance. This model is an upgraded version of the earlier Unitry B1, which was originally designed for industrial purposes, capable of moving underwater, carrying loads up to 80 kilograms, and operating for two hours when unloaded. But with the B2, every specification has been taken to a new level. Weighing 60 kilograms, the Unitree B2 is equipped with a high-power drive system that generates 380 newton meters of torque, combined with a reinforced structural frame and a large capacity 2250 dH battery. Thanks to these upgrades, the robot can support a static load of over 120 kilograms, carry more than 40 kilograms while walking, or maintain 45 kilograms for over two hours of continuous operation. When unloaded, it can travel more than 20 kilometers and run for over 5 hours on a single charge. In terms of movement, the B2 reaches a top speed of 6 meters per second, can jump 1.6 meters, fall from heights over 1 meter while staying balanced, and climb slopes up to 45 degrees without losing stability. Real-world tests have shown that even on slippery surfaces, like floors covered in banana peels, the robot remains balanced. It can be pushed, pulled, or have logs rolled under its legs and still won't fall. The B2 can also climb stairs in any direction, upward, downward, or sideways, proving the impressive stability of its active balance system. Inside, the B2 integrates a LiDAR positioning system combined with depth cameras and high-resolution sensors, allowing it to scan its surroundings and recreate a full 3D map of the environment. This enables the robot to navigate terrain intelligently, avoid obstacles, and perform remote inspection tasks in both industrial and military settings. One of the most remarkable features of the Unitree B2 is its dual mobility design. It can walk on four legs or roll on wheels simply by swapping its lower leg components. With its blend of mechanical strength, spatial intelligence, and modular flexibility, the Unitree B2 stands as more than just a technological achievement for China. It's a symbol of a new era in autonomous combat robotics, where machines are increasingly taking on the world's most dangerous missions once reserved for humans. The emergence of the Unitree B2 is only a part of a larger picture, the robot revolution that China is gradually building. The country is currently intensifying tests of advanced combat robots, machines capable of precise shooting, agile movement, and enduring operation for many continuous hours. This is not just a single project, but a national strategy aimed at integrating automation technology into the military, where machines are gradually becoming the steel comrades of humans. 
The goal of these designs is not only to enhance firepower, but also to reduce casualties among soldiers and to affirm China's increasingly strong position in defense technology. In recent years, the country has continuously expanded its research and demonstrations, introducing a wide range of automated platforms, from gun-mounted robots and reconnaissance drones to surveillance aircraft. All of these efforts point toward one goal, to build a modern army capable of multi-layered and independent combat under any conditions. At the China Air Show, the combat robot dog model became the center of attention. With its olive green camouflage coating, protective mesh frame, and ability to rotate, climb, and maneuver on complex terrain, it showcases technological power while also sparking intense controversy. Many international experts quickly noticed the striking resemblance between this model and the famous design by Boston Dynamics. Although there is no evidence showing that China was licensed or independently developed it based on the original prototype, this similarity continues to raise suspicions about technology copying in the defense sector. And amid the escalating tensions between the United States and China, the appearance of these combat robot dogs is not only a technical demonstration but also a silent declaration of the ambition to lead the era of automated warfare. And then, that ambition quickly became a reality. No longer limited to prototype demonstrations, China began testing combat robots equipped with real weapons, marking a bold new phase where technology doesn't just support warfare but becomes the soldier itself. In recent years, the country has unveiled a series of high-tech combat systems, from reconnaissance drones and surveillance balloons to armed robot dogs, symbols of a new era of automated warfare. In late 2022, a viral test video captured the moment a robot dog armed with a rifle was deployed by a drone. The UAV dropped the robot onto the roof of a building and quickly flew away. Just seconds later, the steel machine stood up, turned its head, scanned the surroundings with sensors, ready to open fire on any target within range. The weapon used by the robot was the QBB-97, a light machine gun with a bullpup configuration capable of firing about 650 rounds per minute, with an effective range of nearly 400 meters, using China's standard 5.8mm ammunition. Moving at speeds of up to 9 miles per hour, it can maneuver through narrow urban environments, quickly reach elevated positions, or reinforce defensive zones. When working alongside transport drones and infantry units, the system creates a three-dimensional combat model, operating from the ground, the air, and above, introducing an entirely new approach to controlling urban battlefields. Beyond mounting guns, many other robot versions are equipped with LiDAR sensors, laser scanning systems capable of generating 3D maps and detecting targets even in complete darkness. Some prototypes have already been tested in real-world conditions, demonstrating autonomous reconnaissance, rooftop positioning, and rear area assault capabilities. Yet, alongside these advancements comes a growing wave of concern. Questions about operational rules, control mechanisms, and legal boundaries are now at the center of global debate, as the line between human warfare and machine warfare becomes increasingly blurred. On the other side of the Pacific, the United States has also entered the stage of armed robotics, and in spectacular fashion. In the summer of last year, the company Throwflame unveiled the Therminator, the world's first robot dog equipped with a flamethrower, priced at nearly 10,000 USD. In a promotional video lasting less than two minutes, viewers watched as fuel was poured into the back of the machine before it sprang to life, unleashing streams of blazing red fire while spinning and jumping into the air. The scene was both cinematic and unsettling, blurring the line between technological showmanship and potential danger. The Terminator is built on the Unitree Go 1 platform, a compact four-legged robot known for its agility and easy control. Compared to larger models like those from Boston Dynamics, the Go 1 is far smaller and better suited for integrating a flamethrower system with remote operation. According to the manufacturer, Terminator was not designed for military use, but rather for special effects and film production, a field in which Throwflame already has extensive experience. However, the presence of a machine capable of shooting flames dozens of feet long has sparked concern among experts, who warn that if such technology falls into the wrong hands, the consequences could be disastrous. Though promoted as a creative tool, Terminator has raised serious ethical questions about the use of robotics in civilian life, as machines once confined to science fiction can now be purchased in the real world. 
In an era of growing military automation, the image of a flame-throwing steel dog is more than just a cinematic spectacle. It's a stark reminder of how rapidly humanity is approaching an age of machines capable of destruction. As the United States and China continue to showcase their robotic warfare capabilities, Europe is responding with its own technology. The Ghost V60 is a four-legged robotic platform currently used by both the United Kingdom and the United States, has been described by military experts as the eyes and legs of the modern battlefield. In the UK, soldiers from the 23rd Parachute Engineer Regiment are working alongside specialists from the Defense Equipment and Supports Field Robotics Center to assess the V60's operational performance. The tests are being carried out across multiple environments, from urban areas and forests to collapsed structures, to determine how well the robot adapts to real-world combat conditions. According to technical data, the Ghost V60 can move steadily across rough terrain at speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour, carry loads of 10 kilograms, and be rapidly deployed via helicopter or airdrop. Once on the ground, it is remotely controlled through a specialized console, while a fully autonomous mode is still under development. Its integrated sensor system, featuring 360-degree cameras combined with LiDAR technology, allows it to create real-time 3D maps and transmit tactical data directly to command centers for analysis. The robot's military-grade shell enables stable operation in rain, dust, and harsh weather. Thanks to its agile design, the V60 can take on various missions, frontline reconnaissance, equipment transport, or accessing dangerous zones before human soldiers move in. A British Army engineer explained that the goal of the Ghost V60 is not to replace humans, but to reduce risks and extend soldiers' awareness on the battlefield. In the fog of modern warfare, he said, the Ghost V60 becomes humanity's vigilant eyes, seeing what humans cannot. Following the growing trend of combat robots, a new Chinese robotic dog was showcased in early November 2022 at a domestic exhibition, drawing attention for being equipped with an automatic rifle mounted on its back. According to the initial announcement, the machine can operate in two modes, fully autonomous or remote controlled, and features a 360-degree panoramic camera system for continuous surveillance and target recognition. The manufacturer also revealed that the rifle mounted on its back weighs about 14 kilograms and can be operated through a military tablet application, though other technical details have not yet been made public. Mounting a heavy weapon on a robot frame is no simple task. The weight of the gun and the recoil force generated when firing can cause immediate instability unless the frame design is optimized for strength and equipped with finely tuned balancing algorithms. To allow the robot to move and fire accurately at the same time, engineers must synchronize mechanical systems, drive components, and control logic, calculating recoil reactions after each burst to restore balance and maintain target stability. Preliminary tests indicate that the development direction of military robotics is expanding, from lightweight armed reconnaissance platforms to heavy combat dogs capable of providing fire support from safe distances, conducting deep reconnaissance, or operating independently in harsh environments. However, before these machines can be deployed in real combat, many technical and operational challenges remain, particularly concerning durability, firing accuracy, real-world adaptability, and safety control mechanisms, factors that will determine whether these robots stay as exhibition prototypes or truly enter military service. At the Army 2022 exhibition in Moscow, the M81 combat robot dog by Intellect Machines became a highlight, appearing with a grenade launcher mounted on its back, looking as if it had stepped straight out of a sci-fi movie. According to the manufacturer, the M81 can fire accurately, transport weapons or cargo through rubble-strewn terrain, and carry out civilian missions like reconnaissance, resupply, and rescue. Its flexible design allows it to switch between combat and support roles, aiming to reduce risks to human lives. However, right after its debut, many Western experts questioned whether the M81 was truly a Russian original, suggesting it might be a copy of a Chinese robot model, especially since the displayed version was heavily covered to conceal its components. In the race to militarize robotics, controlling origin and ensuring safety are what really matter, as the line between protective tools and misused weapons grows increasingly thin. 
However, alongside that technological leap come tough, unanswered questions. Will combat robot systems become shields for peace or spark a fierce global arms race in autonomous weapons? The growing presence of these machine armies is challenging everything we thought we knew about warfare. What do you think? Will future battlefields still be under human control or run by emotionless machines? Drop your thoughts in the comments and follow us as we dive deeper into the future of war technology.